Well, hello there. I'm Shannon Grissom and welcome to another episode of Painterly's Two Minute Tips. Inside, you'll find tips on painting, marketing, the creative process, and so much more. Don't miss a thing. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you inside. Today, we're gonna talk about studio lighting. Hey, North Light is great if you're painting from natural light in your studio in the middle of the day or, or during daylight hours. But what if you're like me and you paint in the wee hours of the morning or you paint at night? You definitely need to take a look at both natural light and artificial light. So here are the types of natural light. North Light is great, yes, because it's just consistent, cool light all day long. South light is warm light that keeps getting brighter as the day progresses. That's what I've got in my studio. East light is a soft bright light that is slightly warm. West light in the morning it's pretty flat but you know what it warms up over the course of the day. And last but not least overhead light. I think the favorite lighting I've ever had in my studio was I, I had no windows, but I had this huge skylight and oh my God, the lighting was phenomenal in that place. As for artificial light, you can buy warm, cool, or daylight spectrum lights to supplement your natural light. It all depends on your preference, what you choose. I used to paint under a tremendous amount of hot halogen lights and it, the studio was really bright and it was great for being able to see things but the problem with that is if you take that painting out of that environment and put it in a typical home the darks are going to be too dark the brights it just doesn't translate well so now i tone it down quite a bit and i've realized that more light is not necessarily better it's just a matter of trying to get something that's going to be a little more authentic for the situation that it's going in so if it's going to hang in an office where they've got a lot of bright lights then you want to key it toward that if it's for a home then you want to tone it down just a little bit i gotta tell you though for most circumstances i just use a full spectrum fluorescent light bulb that takes care of everything drop me a line and let me know how you've resolved your own lighting challenges thanks for joining me for the latest tips and lessons please subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you next time